Hello everyone, this is Julian from Canon Coffee, and today we have a uh, La Spaziale machine. I personally own one of these machines. These are some of my favorite uh, dual boiler uh, commercial espresso machines, that, but they are able to fit in a house. Um, in this machine, it had came in because one, the standby mode, if I were to turn this off, this flashing light indicates that it's on standby mode or off. Um, there's never really a full off. This machine is always receiving power at some point, um, as indicated with the light, but technically off. None of the boilers are heating up. Other things that you're not heating up. Um, this is standby is really for when you add the shot or the smart timer to this machine. Um, when you add the, the smart timer to this machine, it of course needs power, and if your machine's off, you can't have power um, to the timer to remember to turn it on. But uh, pretty much off. Um, and this light wasn't flashing at all. So indication that there's no power going into the machine. And then if you try turning it on, nothing would happen like that. Um, but what had happened was the fuse is located on your machine, bottom uh, corner right, um, broken in half, so it popped. Um, and so we replaced it with a new fuse and turned it back to life. And so I do want to give a little bit of discretion um, I did, I did recommend a lot of other work right after fixing this issue because, again, you can't really t fully test the machine if the machine doesn't ever turn on. Um, and I found a few issues. I'm just going to list them because I ended up not doing any of the work. The customer had uh, removed it from the estimate and just said replace the fuse and that's it. Um, one, mainly, that gasket in there is super solid. Couldn't even fit a portafilter in here all the way. Um, also, it's fully caked with coffee and partially clogged. We'll test that here when we click the button. Um, Seam one works fine, works great. A um, little bit of milk there, but perfectly. It just uh, you could get milk cleaner to clean that up. A um, lot of scale in the boilers, so uh, I well mainly well yeah mainly I had to I did a little bit of extra work apart from the fuse, um, something small but really detrimental um, if I didn't do it. And the bolt that to drain the steam boiler that's under your machine was leaking. Um, that's bad because the steam boiler means it's always open and it's leaking a bunch of water out through the bottom of your machine. So I went down there and I re loctited the bolt, cleaned it up. It's super rusty down there. Um, but I was able to clean all the threads, clean the, uh, the inside of the locking nut and um, loctite it back on. And so it should be fine and safe and clear of all leaks from the bottom. But on warm up, you could hear the scale inside of this boiler. Um, the scale is just really popping. You really see this with the Spaziale because they have a huge steam boiler in there, and which is great because you get super powerful steam, some of the best steam that you could get for under 3,000. Um, but it's just, it's loud. And usually you want to start descaling your machine. Also, I tried back flushing this machine just to test the solenoid valve that's located right on the top right. Really chunky solenoid valve, kind of expensive to buy online. Um, and if we could kind of test it here, we're not going to brew a shot because it will be really hard to get a shot out of this thing. Um, but this is a back flush disc. This is not the port filter that came with the machine. I don't, uh, I, I don't believe we received the port filter with this machine. But we're just going to see, as you can see, I came and put the port filter all the way in. But we're just going to test the back flushing just so I can show you what I'm referencing. And so you're going to hear a lot of weird creaks and croaks and stuff like that. But we're really just trying to pressurize the group head. Now, for my machine, I actually have the same exact machine, um, a little newer one because I do have the newer uh, pressure gauge uh, on mine. And so it shows the steam boiler pressure plus the pump pressure. This one just shows the steam boiler pressure. Um, so pressurized group head. Now, on any of the S1s, right when you turn this off, it's going to release. But as you can see, nothing happened yet. Still nothing happened yet then it releases. And all that's showing is that solenoid valve that's controlling all that pressure, which is first allowing water in, but then allowing water or escape of water to go back down um, is clogged or just not operating functionally. And so you might see where you're brewing and then you let go of the pressure and the pressure's not there and you might not think twice and you try to pull the pressure portafilter off. And when you pull the portafilter off, there's gonna be coffee all over your group head because it, it sneezed, there's still pressure in the group head. And so just be careful with that. I just wanted to show it. Um, I, I ended up finding it during my testing after replacing the fuse. We didn't do any of this work today, um, maybe at some time, but um, these are beautiful machines. So uh, I just recommend taking care of them. 
a little bit more. Um, but we're gonna test the steam. A little bit of water comes out. It is a three spout of steam one, but this thing is such a powerhouse of a steam one. Really beautiful. Definitely a commercial machine in and out. Uh, Spaziales are really known. They're known in the Bay Area quite a lot for their really great uh, espresso machines. Before Lama Zoko started selling quite a lot of them out here. Um, you could still find a lot of these type of machines in coffee shops in you know, downtown Oakland and stuff like that. Um, and I personally run my coffee shop on this type of machine. But we're just gonna test the water. You get a few seconds of pre-infusion. This is also, um, you could put the pre-infusion settings um, if you were to go into the menu board. You do a specific amount of seconds, and I think it's up to eight to 10 seconds, I believe, um, of pre-infusion. And then, of course, you could calibrate what the actual button does. And as you can see there, that's another thing. Since that solenoid valve is kind of always open, we're gonna run it, and you're gonna hear the pump turn off. Now when the pump turns off, this shot is supposed to stop pumping water. So pump pump's still on, pumps off, but it's still pushing a bunch of water. So that's because of that solenoid valve that you have at that brew station. It's still going through a bunch of water, as you can see. And it finally turned off. Um, so you're gonna have a few issues with brewing, especially if you think like you calibrate your shot to 30 seconds. That made it almost 40 second shot. And so there's going to be a few issues just because of that brew solenoid valve. But yeah, that's about all the work we did to this machine. Oh, I did not test the hot water. The hot water is fine. But yeah, that's about it for this repair. If you like this video or any of our other videos on our channel, leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Thanks for watching.